Okay, this is the Suara Sunset Harvest Litter. This is November 9th, so they are 11 days old and starting to open their eyes, starting to walk up on their feet a little bit and go through them one by one. This is the firstborn. This is Mr. Memphis. He's the only male of the litter. He's a very handsome tri-tuxedo and he's super sweet. They all are sweet. He's very sweet and he doesn't put up with too much from all his sis six sisters. So he has to be kind of tough um, to stand up for himself. So he just pushes his way in when he wants something, but he's um, just super, super sweet. And I'm going to try and see if they'll cooperate so you can see some structure on them. And there you can see his shoulder a little bit. It's kind of hard when they're all black. And unfortunately, I had to do this in the afternoon and not the morning sunlight. So, um, very handsome. First one to open his eyes, starting to get them open. And he's just, he's doing, they're all doing great. So, put him down. And you can see he's he's not tiny, but he's the smallest one of the litter still. And you can see the difference when you put him next to his sister. And this is Jubilee. She's the only piebald in the litter. She was born second. And she's one of the two biggest ones in the litter to start. And she's pretty well stayed that way. I'd say she's the mellowest one of the litter. Nothing much bothers her, and she a lot of times will lay um, off by herself and be okay with that. Not that she tries to be alone. She's also on top of the pile a lot, but she's just mellow. Just things don't bother her. So Jubilee meaning shout of joy, but it's her color that's loud, not, not her. And uh, I'll give you a side view on her. See if we can get her to cooperate. You can kind of get some idea, maybe, maybe. There you go. There you go, little one. All right. Pretty cute. They're all cute. They're all sweet. She's just, she's just the mellowest one. You can see in the background, <laughs> Kiva walking around. Okay, so number three is Tess. Ooh, I think Tess is vying for biggest pup of the litter. Another female. She's she's really dark. Just a little snip and a some freckles instead of a collar. And her her markings are really dark. Uh, Memphis is medium. And uh, Miss Jubilee tends to be a little lighter side, but Kiva is, she's, not Kiva, sorry, too many, get the names confused. Tess <laughs> is really dark. Kiva's really dark too. You'll see her coming up because she's number six. So this is number three pup. She's not number three, but or number three. And it's just easier for me if I show them to you in birth order than I um, know I haven't missed anybody. So you can get an idea of her structure a little bit. Her cute little head. <laughs> and uh, she has dark ears. Mr. Memphis is going to be a calico. His ears are light. Um, and we're still sitting on the fence with Jubilee, but this little girl, she's got dark ears. She's not going to calico. So she's, she's the, her brown markings will stay where they are, they won't progress. Okay, put you back. All right, number four is <laughs> Kakoa. It's gonna tell us about it. Another, yeah, oh, the rest are all gonna be black tuxedos. She's got um, medium on her, on her brown. Her ears are dark, she will not calico. So see her profile, maybe. 
she's kind of got the arrow on the back of her neck and a little feather on the face on her forehead for a stripe. And she's she's one of the smaller ones right now in the litter. But no, you know, they're all they're pretty even. <laughs> I can get her to let her shoulder hang. Get an idea of that forelimb on her. Her little backside. Her little hind legs hang. <laughs> All right, Kakoa. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> Got one sleeping with her mouth wide open. Okay, that's number four. Number five is right here. Keurig. Keurig's pretty chunky. She's her. She's got really pretty markings, but they are the lighter tan. Um, her ears do have a dark rim, so probably not gonna calico. <laughs> she's got the thumbprint on the belly. Yeah. I know you want to cuddle to me. All right, Jubilee. It's not your turn, sweetheart. You go over here with your siblings. There you go. Okay, so here's Miss Keurig. Yeah, good night. Come here, sweetheart. You're getting big enough that they're starting to. Of course, I if somebody with bigger hands, it'd still be a handful. But my little hands are getting harder to just keep in the hand. There you go. You show them your shoulder. There you go. Good girl. I know. So you can get your back legs to hang a little bit now. You're okay. You're okay. No, you're okay. Let's turn you around this way. Yeah. There you go. Get a little bit of idea angulation. Yeah. And you see, she's just got that one white spot still on the back of her neck. Otherwise, she's really dark. And they're all just a really nice, dark, shiny black. Okay. Let's see if we can find Kiva. Here you are, Kiva. Okay, Kiva's the darkest one in the bunch. She has no collar, no no white on the back. Very little white on the face. <laughs> Just this little tiny, tiny, tiny white line and half a white nose. But she's got dark on her legs and four white paws and they all have white bellies some white on their belly she's got quite a bit coming up the throat onto the chin I know I know sweetheart okay and see so and give you a profile with her forearm showing and and her little Hang on. It's easiest to turn them this way. Let you see the rear end as best I can. There you go. Hang on, baby. All right. Let's see if she'll get up on her feet for us. Of course, they never perform quite. Oh, there she goes. Of course, she's not in camera range. Okay. And last but not least is Corey. Definitely not least, especially with a full belly. And this is Corey. <laughs> she just has a fleck on the back, but she's got a pretty nice stripe on the front and then half a white nose on the right. Like, like her sister had the half white nose, but she's got more on her face and she's got four white feet. And her, um, her chrome's kind of a medium to dark and she is not going to calico. She's got dark ears. Sorry. Get her more in the camera. She's got dark ears. Let's see if she'll... Come here, baby. Let you go over here. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you guys. Okay. Here's her front assembly. 
There you go. Such a good girl. Yeah. Such a rear end angle. Yeah. I know. So sweet. So, so sweet. Here we go. All right. And that's all of them. That's all seven. 11 days old, eyes are starting to open, ears are starting to open, they're starting to get up on their feet and walk around. And they're just a really content, nice, nice litter. So that's it for this week. Hopefully we'll get things done a little bit earlier next week, hopefully on Tuesday, so they'll be 15 days old. And uh, we'll catch up with you then.